And you can take a look. It's all done in software. You can see how long it takes. Now, what we've done is we've got a 32-bit risk processor that's running at uh, 150 megahertz um, that's doing all of this math. Now, the, the advantage that we have is this is programmable logic. It's just a bunch of logic. The, the processor that we have is taking a part of that FPGA, okay? It's taking 2,000 logic elements to develop that. And we've got code in there that's actually running. So it's quite slow. But we can go ahead and take certain functions, like if there's any multiplies, instead of doing it in software, we can do it in hardware. What we can go ahead and do now is put some of that stuff inside hardware. And by doing that, we can really make the processor look a lot faster than it really is. And this is what it's doing right now. So what we've done is we've taken some of the math functions that's typically done in software, and we've now moved that to hardware. Well, instead of taking, you know, uh, several thousands of, of, of cycles to do a complex multiply, we can do it in one clock cycle because it's in dedicated hardware. So that's why when I mentioned earlier, we've got all these different little functions inside the device to help accelerate designs, multipliers are one of them. <laughs> Questions? One thing I wanted to mention too, and one of the professors talking, I was talking about earlier, and they were saying, well, how's the job market right out there? And the job market, you know, is, is, is pretty pretty tough right now. However, uh, there's a lot of companies that are hiring for interns. So I don't know if any of you guys have started looking into that. You know, it's a great experience. I was doing interns myself. Well, I was sort of forced to because I had to pay for my, my education. But if you've got some time in the summer, you know, there's a lot of companies here in San Diego, Qualcomm, Biosat, that are looking for interns. Um, and if you go to their website, they're not hiring any other full-time positions. And the only thing you'll see are a bunch of, of openings for interns. So, you know, I encourage you to, to, to go to those companies, take a look at some of their websites, and, uh, you know, get an internship for some of them. Why is that? Pardon? Why is that? Um, so, so the question is, why is that? And, and what it is, it's, it's just funding, right? It's, it's one of those things where they don't have money to spend for their own uh, R&D engineers, but yet they get... Uh, um, alliances and grants with universities such as San Diego State, UCSD, where they actually um, have funding to be able to do some of these research projects. So a lot of times, um, these interns will come in and do a specific function that is just a research type function where if the design doesn't work at the end of the day, you know, after in that three month term, it's not critical in their design path. And, and, you know, but they do get uh, specific funding from the outside. Thank you. Um, can you please have a round of applause for me?